just like to present our the Westinghouse generator, portable generator. The model number is a WHXC 8500E Pro. As you can see, 6750 running watts, starting watts 8500. Comes with wheels, handles, electric start, and it has a battery, etc., in it. All we have to do with what these is oil and uh, put fuel in it, and it should be ready to go. I'm just showing, I'm going to unbox it. We'll just show you the box itself. Inside the box, it's all very well packed. As you can see in here, the wheels are down this end. The machine itself is there, all covered in plastic. So these are our wheels. So the wheels are in that box. In our separate box here, we have instruction manual, oil and filler. carry handles which go on the end this is all the hardware the spanner pins for the wheels a few bolts and that's for the handles out of the box we now have the machine as you can see start run stop DC outlet main on off voltmeter reset and your outlets which are water resistant 15 amp outlets batteries already fitted in the machine um, as i said nicely finished 6,700 watts 8,500 starting nice large fuel temp fuel gauge this end warnings hot surfaces etc and inlets and that there handles rub insulated basically just a couple of pins holes with circlips and little clips go into there clips if you buy yourself probably pay to grab a couple of blocks of wood stick them up on a bit of wood okay so the bolts that hold the um, front bracket down here are 10 and uh, 13 mil 10 on the top 13 underneath now the handle's clear so she's very easy to maneuver around this one so you basically lift it up push it around like a wheelbarrow oil has been drained for shipping and also there's fuel our oil filling area is going to be here so we'll pull that plug out we put our um, funnel in which has been supplied and tip our oil into a level usually has a nice level site on top of the dipstick so a dipstick full of marks on there usually it's usually you'll find your oil is nearly to the top here because that's where that is it's not that far down so that's about your oil level there so we put our funnel in it pays to just keep checking it when you fill it because it probably won't take this is one liter of oil probably won't take a whole liter of oil filling just on the bottom so we'll put a bit more oil in yep 
So she's taking about one litre of oil there. Just a little bit left. Unleaded petrol. And hooking up our battery. To the supplied battery. It's a 12 volt 14 amp hour battery supplied. Right, so we've got oil. We have our uh, fuel in it ready to go. So basically we'll turn the fuel, fuel on, fuel tap on, choke on. It's the start and run button, so we'll change that to run. And then the start will hit the electric start and it should go. First start, first go. One of the things that you'll find that is difficult to run with a generator is a compressor. Compressors have to be matched to the generator. If the generator is too small, the generator can have issues and rattle and carry on and can, can even damage your compressor and the generator. So you may have to make sure that it is, is it big enough to run your generator. The generator begins to run your compressor. This is a 2.4 kilowatt or 3 horse, 3.2 horsepower compressor. This is the biggest single phase compressor that we do and with 2.4 kilowatts, it's 2,400 watts, it should be 7,200, so about three times is your starting wattage. This machine says 8,500 on starting, so this should be sufficient. The easy way to, what I will do now, that usually you just run it from zero, plug it in, run it from zero, start it up and check it, and if it rattles and carries on, it's no good. The second thing you do is when it gets up to pressure, that's fully up to pressure now, is drain the pressure back down to where it restarts and it should start under pressure again. Okay, so what I'll do now, I will start this, I'll go over there, I'll drain the air and then it'll restart that and when it turns off, I'll, I'll indicate to you. But I've done it without noise because you won't hear me talk from now. Dropping the air pressure. And that demonstration then shows that that compressor and that generator are compatible. The compressor can handle that 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 amount of um, the generator that size. If you were trying to run other things at the same time, you then have to work out your wattage that that's got plus the watts that your other machines are using. And if this tries to start when you've got something else working, you will probably have issues. If you had a big saw, 2,000 watt saw, and they were both trying to run at the same time, you wouldn't, it wouldn't work. So you best to start, make sure that you gen if you run it, want to run a compressor, you run the compressor by itself. Okay, hope that was all very helpful. And uh, that's a good all-round view of your Westinghouse compressor.